Now for the bent over row on a bench, we're gonna have one knee down, one hand down like this, and then one leg on the ground so that we're nice and stable and our torso is almost parallel to the ground, somewhere close to that. Um, I like to have my one hand maybe just a little bit out in front slightly and this knee under the hip. If it's too far forward or too far back, we're not gonna be very stable or strong, but your exact position is gonna vary. So I want you to find a nice, stable, strong position. We're gonna grab dumbbell or kettlebell and we're gonna reach and then pull back diagonally a little bit. So we're drawing the shoulder blade and elbow back, pulling kind of towards our hip, just like that. All right, so it's gonna look like this. Boom. Now if we're using more weight, what I find to be really helpful is to brace, just like you might do with other heavy exercises where I'll <laughs> get really solid here, and I like to actively push down through this arm as I pull with the other arm, okay? So I'm pushing and pulling, right arm's pushing, left arm's pulling. That's gonna make me much more stable and stronger. All right, if you are doing reps, awesome. If you are testing how heavy you can go, you just wanna make sure that with any assessment, you're keeping consistent form. So if I'm rotating or pulling like that, that's gonna give very different results. So your form, ideally, we want the torso to be nice and solid, like that. If you want to intentionally add some rotation, you certainly can, that's another way to do it. But I like to just start with nice and controlled reps like this.